So why do you think, or at least hope, that science and religion will mix better in one of your films than in a dinner party? <laughs> is that what I'm hoping to sure that's the <laughs> Church of Intelligent Design? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> or Batman the Redeemer. These are important churches. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if the mix is there or not. And maybe in a lot of people's real lives, though, I mean, when I think about America, you know, with the evangelical right out there, and then a lot of those kids probably believe in Batman as much as they do in Jesus. <laughs> He has a cape. Yeah. <laughs> he well, doesn't dress like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, biblically themed films have followed a fairly traditional formula for decades. But this year we have Darren Aronofsky's Noah, and now you're The Zero Theorem. What do you think is inspiring all this experimentation all of a sudden? Well, I think Hollywood got very excited because they realized that half the country is Christian. <laughs> and it's, and uh, so we've got Moses in the works as well, mm -hmm. uh, really is doing it. And I suddenly thought, they, they thought, okay, this is where the money is. Uh, I mean, Mel Gibson proved that years ago. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> Hollywood is very slow at catching on to what's really going on. Uh, and so, you know, they let uh, Darren loose with Noah. And I'm not sure how the tr traditional religious people felt about it. The box office didn't like it too much. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so I can't say anything. Uh, Moses is, is waiting to part the Red Sea. I, 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 since I had nothing to do with Hollywood, I just like playing with the fact that Hollywood is trying to make religious movies now. <laughs> <laughs> very smart, very clever. And this is very trademark Terry Gilliam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you have some pretty big actors in some pretty small roles. How do you feel that your work is so respected that actors are willing to sign on for just a scene or two? Actors are fools, we, we're learning. <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's just, I've got friends that uh, I've always wanted to work with, uh, people. When you travel around going to festivals, you keep bumping into actors you really like, <laughs> and you spend time talking, you say, we've got to work together one day. And so when I can say, come down for two or three days maximum, ah. it's easy. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and then uh, offering parts that they don't normally get to play. And so come down. In fact, people like Ben Wishaw, uh, uh, Tilda Swinton were only there for a day. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty smart. <laughs> well, also, Christoph Waltz is very well known for his collaborations with Quentin Tarantino, even to the point where he's involved in the filmmaking process. How was your working relationship with Christoph? What kind of dynamic did the two of you develop? Well, it's great because he's thinking all the time, he's arguing all the time. He's, you know, you can't just say, do this, and he'll say, why? And so you better have a good reason why you're asking <laughs> him to do this. And that's fantastic. I mean, that's the way I like working. It's Making films to me is collaborative, and you want to get actors, technicians, everybody around who are all, you know, sort of respect each other's mm -hmm. individual talents. And now let's argue our way through this thing <laughs> and, and hopefully make it work. Oh, that's great. And my last question for you yeah. is, uh, Christoph Waltz spends a lot of time in this movie waiting for the call that's going to tell him his purpose in life. What do you think your call is? Is it filmmaking, being an activist, or both? No, my call that I'm waiting for is just We've got the money, Terry. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Call all filmmakers wait for. It's all we wait for. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much. Good. That was Thank great. You. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks.